there, it's me, Casas Hurrah. And today I'm back with another short video where I'm gonna show you how to add a server resource pack to your Minecraft server. In other words, how do you make it so that as soon as a player joins your server, a resource pack will automatically be downloaded to their Minecraft. So they will view the server in the exact way you want them to. Anyways, before we start, it will mean a lot if you could leave a like on this video, also check if you're already subscribed to the channel, as most people who watch my videos are actually not subscribed. And without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So today it's all about server resource packs. How do you add one to your Minecraft server? Now I say this in a lot of my videos, but this is actually extremely easy. There are just a few simple steps you will need to follow and you can be done in like a minute. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing that we need is of course a resource pack. A resource pack that you want everyone on your Minecraft server to have. Now in my case, I'm gonna use this merged resource pack here, which is a resource pack I merged in the previous video. If you want to know how to merge resource packs together i would highly recommend watching that one a link will be in the top right corner of the screen right now but i want this merged resource pack to be available to everyone who joins my server so let's go and do that so there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to this website mc packs post a resource pack to use for your server for free that's what we want so what you want to do here is upload your resource pack so we're gonna choose file locate your resource pack and choose it now it can only have a maximum size of 95 megabytes but for most resource packs this should be plenty so now we're gonna click on upload there we go and then what you want to look for is this string here on the right so this whole section you simply want to copy it after that you want to go to your minecraft folder so the place where your minecraft server lives and then look for a file called server.properties now this file should be here as it comes with any minecraft server so it doesn't matter if you have paper spigot or just vanilla Minecraft, server.properties should be there. Open it, and after that you want to look for a place where it says resource pack. So here it is, on line 37 for a paper server. You just want to select this whole line, and then we're gonna control V, paste, there we go. Now it will also paste the resource pack shell. So what we want to do is look for the resource pack shell line and remove it, as we've now pasted it here. So we can now remove this line, resource pack shell, so now we got resource pack is and then the download link and then resource pack shell and then this code. After that, you simply want to save your file and then reboot your server. Then we're gonna join our server again and then it will ask this server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. Would you like to download and install it automatically? Yes, we want to. And then just wait for a bit and there we go. The resource pack is now successfully installed. And what that means is that if I will now do slash p crates, give crates, and then I'm going for the earth crates, enter, place it, and there we go. Go. That's the model I installed a few videos ago. And there it is, working perfectly. Now when we go to options and then resource packs, you can see all the way at the top the merged resource pack we just installed. It will also say world specific resources. But all the way at the end, it will say server. So that's how you know it's a server resource pack. And there's literally not more to it. That's it. That's how you add a server resource pack to your Minecraft server. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also smash Smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell as you would really help me out. You actually would. And then, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.